if you think about the the heart of uh, of Experian, ultimately is to um, is to innovate new products and services that help people um, improve their their financial health and progress in their in their financial lives. So when we talk about uh, social innovation, that's really really what it is, and it's the heart of, of what we do as a as a company. Uh, it's not bolted on on the side. It's what we do uh, each and every day. So some examples of of some of the products in uh, in, in Brazil. Um, we have a product um, called Limpinomi, and it helps people uh, engage with banks and helps them settle old debts that are still held against them uh, by taking a discount. Ultimately, the banks uh, sometimes have written these off, um, and there's a, uh, just no conduit um, to be able to, uh, to settle those historically. And we've helped over 32 million people write off or settle over $14 billion of debt over the years. That's one example of, of social products. Um, we help and work with lots of NGOs uh, to support. We've got a target of, um, of supporting uh, 100 million uh, people uh, by uh, 2025. We're well over 80 million uh, through that with a, quite a myriad of, of different products that, um, uh, that, that support that, giving people um, access to the healthcare system, for example, in the US through confident identity verification. Uh, we supported um, uh, some of the vaccine programs in, in the U.S. in response to, uh, to COVID. In the U.K., we have a number of products and support that, that help um, NGOs, uh, such as the, the Trussell Trust, identify um, um, uh, people in, in, in need that they can target some of their services to. So we have a, a very broad, a broad um, spread of, um, of social products that ultimately help connect the support in a, in a social ecosystem with end consumers.